Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Mecca here and in this video I want to walk you through how to set up your Amazon Author Central account. This is essential for your books if you want to create any sort of authority on Amazon, build any sort of brand around your books, you got to have a proper Author Central account uh, set up. So I want to walk you through it, show you exactly what you can do, how to do it, and um, go through a couple tips and tricks that I've learned over over uh, over the last little bit doing this. So um, the website, first off, it's authorcentral.amazon.com. Just Google Amazon Author Central account, uh, or you can type in the website that I uh, just mentioned there. Join now. Um, it'll, if I remember correctly, this will just link straight up to your regular Amazon account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. All right, so signing in. Cool. All right, so inside you got, I guess this would be your called your dashboard here. And um, just a whole bunch of information I've actually never bothered to read, as most, most people probably haven't. So your author page, your books, your sales info, customer reviews. All right, so this is an author page for... Um, one of the books that I share, this was the second book that I ever published. So, you know, here it is. And uh, so this is basically what you're going to end up getting. You're going to get, a, um, you know, your, your, your book here, uh, all the books that you have. Up here, you're going to actually have what, what, your, what the best-selling books are for your particular author, uh, either the Kindle version or uh, paperback, audio, whatever it would be, but it would be all up here. Your, the bio that you're going to write in, I'm going to show you how to do that. And, uh, you know, the, the regularly, frequently, um, you know, are inspired by your purchases and, and things like that. So let's go back here. And, all right. So biography. This is where you want to come up with the story, the background of your pen name, of your author. And uh, add a biography going to have a minimum of 100 characters and uh, no HTML whatsoever. So just plain text. So super, super simple, straightforward. You can read this. I'm not going to read it to you. Um, but this was a fitness book. So I thought of, okay, who's my audience going to be? Who are the readers going to be? How can they relate to, to me as this pen name, as this, I don't know, I don't know how old I said this person was. But, uh, you know, she's from Mexico, so she's Hispanic from the Latin community. She's a leader in the Latin community when it comes to, to health and fitness. I put that in there. She's consulted hundreds of clients. Philosophy comes from deep understanding how the body works and that everybody is different. You know, all, all of that fun jazz. And uh, so I just kind of came up with this story for this author, this character, this pen name. And because uh, it related to what I was teaching in the book. And, uh, you know, she relies on Miami, Florida with her husband. Um, yeah, and so you just kind of make it up. Uh, you can preview it here. This is how it's going to look at. Save biography. And then you're good to go. All right. Simple as that. Uh, you can put as much or as little detail as you want here. The more detail you have, I think it's better to kind of give your, because this is where your, your readers will be able to start connecting with your pen name. If you have a blog post, this is where you can have the blog post. You can also have, I believe it's called an RRS feed. So if you're publishing posts on a regular basis, you can have this set up for your RRS feed. So they will get, uh, actually, let me show you. Real factor. I think John has this set up here. So this is a book that I helped uh, one of my students publish. All right, so this is exactly it. So you can see John's has, uh, we, we set up his RRS feed to connect with his blog. So every time he does a new blog post, right? This is where, this is where, um, uh, they're going to go. 
So when 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 readers are coming to 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 um, John's pay, author page, they want to kind of check it out. There's this video. I don't know what video that uh, he's put up. Let's just click on this. All right, you can see John. He put up his bio, his his video here, and uh, so people can connect with him and get to get to get to know him. Of course, I don't have a video for any of mine, um, but you're just able to do those type of things. Um, events. If you have any speaking events, but you know appearances, whatever the case is, you would put that there. This is the video. Photos. Now I chose. Let's see. There she is. Um, you know, I chose something beachy, right? Because Miami. I chose a girl who was fit, like young. I uh, wanted the black hair. I think she looks kind of Hispanic. Obviously, she's fit. Um, so I, you know, I, I I went through and I found this photo. I purchased the rights from it, uh, so I could use it commercially for this without having to worry about any issues or anything like that. Um, yeah, so this was the stock image I just bought the rights for. Uh, and then your author page URL, um, uh, you can set that up. Now to find your books, okay, so you click on books, then add more books, and you would simply just click on it. Uh, let's just type weight loss. I always usually search by the pen name right, because then it just brings up my books. And then you just click on the books that are yours, and it's simply going to start adding them in here, and you're good to go. Sales info, um, Nelson Book Scan. I, I don't know what this is. This looks new, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. All right, so this is, uh, what's this tracking? The BSR, I believe. Uh, I never look at my BSR that closely. I publish the books and uh, look at them for, like, two weeks and then that's it. Um, so you can see the kind of BSR, it's like dips all over the place here. Maybe I was running promotions. I don't know, who knows? No idea, I don't pay attention to this book anymore. Um, so that's that, let's just see. Whoa, wow, look at that, huh? Wow, look at that, million, a million, and then up to 88. How's that even possible? May 31st, it's a million in the Kindle store, okay? June 2nd, it's 88,000. So, who knows what I was doing? No clue. Completely irrelevant. But, uh, so you can track that. You can also track your author rank. It's kind of cool to see this. Uh, this is how you're ranking currently. So currently, Julia Alejandra's books, her author is... Uh, she's number 225,925 out of all the authors on Amazon. But, so you can see this type of stuff, right? Uh, customer reviews. All right, so these are uh, these are just reviews that have, people have left here. Kind of neat. Excellent, excellent. Um, and that's that. Now, what you can also do here, which I like, is you can put what's called editorial reviews. Editorial reviews are reviews that you get from anybody who has more, maybe more of an authority on Amazon or something like that. Let me see if John has any. I don't think he does, but... I guess it wouldn't be in the description. No, it doesn't look like he does. Um, now, so you can put editorial reviews, and you just put you can put them right into the uh, to the bio here. Um, and, and like I said, an editorial review is just a review by somebody who has more authority uh, in in your in your particular uh, niche, or uh, if you uh, you know contacted somebody who has you know, a big, a big group or something on Facebook where your people, where, where your readers might gather, or they have a website or whatever, or if a website did a review of your book, you can post those type of things. Um, I just post them at the end of the bio, just editorial reviews, and uh, just post them right in there. 
uh, it just it helps build that authoritative figure, helps build that authoritative brand when the customers are scrolling through, scrolling through your product page, and um, yeah, when they're just scrolling through your product page there. So it's, it's definitely something I would recommend. Um, I have, for example, one of my pen names, a website reached out to me um, to to do an interview for my pen name, and uh, I sent them the info, and I'm going to put. Uh, Put that interview or pieces of it in my bio for that pen name, so people can see it when they're scrolling through the uh, scrolling through the books. All right, um, over here you can select which pen name you want. You're allowed to have up to three pen names per email address for your Author Central account. Now, what happens if you have four or five pen names like I do? Well, all you're going to do is you're going to create a brand new Author Central account. Let's go here. You're going to create a brand new Author Central. Okay, I'd have to log out. Create a brand new Author Central account and um, with a brand new email address that's not connected to uh, to Amazon yet. That's it. I've called Amazon, I spoke to them about this, it's 100% okay, you can do this as many times as you need to, So you, because you're only allowed to have three pen names per, per uh, account here. Because what happened is I had three, and then I got into my fourth niche, and I want a new pen name, and you can't actually delete pen names from your Author Central account. So they told me, oh, just go ahead and set up another Author Central account with a different email address, and use your pen name for that one piece of cake so definitely you're good to go with that um, hopefully this has helped this is definitely a tool I suggest you use since it's free but it also really helps your book stand out from the uh, from the people who put books on Amazon and they're just too lazy to set up an author central account if you have any questions or comments hit me up in the comment section everybody find me on Facebook follow me on Instagram and uh, please subscribe to this channel for more great Kindle self-publishing tips. Till next time, speak to you all soon. Take care.